Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner. You know, Andy's Corner is that special little place in the world where we get to sit back and talk about all things heating and air. And not just all things heating and air, but heating and air with a service tech. That's me. I'm Andy. So if you are a current subscriber and you watch the videos regularly, I want to say thank you. I appreciate all the support, the likes, the shares, the comments. I love seeing the comments, so I can't say thank you enough. Uh, if you are new to the videos, I recommend go back to the channel and check out some of the older videos on there. There's a little bit of everything. Uh, while you're there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get notifications every time a new video comes out. Uh, today, what I wanted to talk about was something that had came up. I, I made mention, and actually it just kind of rolled out of my mouth um, on another video I just did, um, about two-stage and modulating gas furnaces. Um and it was on the list. I wanted to do a video about this anyways, because I have my opinions on especially modulating furnaces, what I wanted to focus with. Um, so I, I wanted to talk about those. Now, I know that this is a controversial topic. I know different contractors, different techs, everybody out there in our industry has different ideas on two-stage gas furnaces, single-stage gas furnaces, and modulating. Um, if you don't know what modulating furnaces are, um, Google it. It, it. it tells you a pretty good description of what they are. Um, but, you know, I, I feel that we need to get this information out there because I, I strongly believe that they're being marketed incorrectly. Um, so, like I said, don't be mad at me if you've got uh, different views on uh, two-stage gas furnaces or modulating furnaces, whatever, because uh, I know we all have different opinions. So, um, but my biggest thing with how they're being marketed is, is they're sold as the most efficient gas furnace out there. Now, most of us are all dealing with 90 plus efficient furnaces anyways. You know, you got 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just talking 90 plus efficient furnaces. So most of us are dealing with these anyways. And, you know, the idea of when we go to a homeowner's house or if a homeowner sees an advertisement on TV or online, uh, you know, something like that. Everybody says, oh, you need a modulating gas furnace or you need a two-stage gas furnace because they're all more efficient. You don't want just that standard, you know, single-stage gas furnace. I don't find this to be true. There's a lot of different occasions where maybe it can almost come true, but most of the time, uh, me personally, I would rather take a single-stage gas furnace, but I do want the variable speed blower motor in it. That's a whole nother topic, but um, just because you're going single-stage does not mean you have to go bottom-of-the-barrel furnace by any means. But... My point is, uh, with the modulating or two-stage furnaces, you know, I can see the point maybe if you have a zone system. Uh, I'm a big believer in zone systems in a house. Um, I love seeing the multiple thermostats and the zone system, especially in a, a multi-story house or uh, really a house of any size uh, to it. You know, you can put one in just about anywhere and everybody's so much more comfortable. At that point, I can almost get the idea of, you know, multi-stage gas furnace. Uh, but if you're just dealing with a, a standard furnace in a standard house, the efficiency wise, that modulating is not necessarily more efficient. Um, you know, with all the uh, people that I've talked to over the years, the um, experiences that I've seen and, you know, homeowners that I've dealt with as far as multi-stage or modulating furnaces, they don't normally see a drop in their utility bill. Um, this is absolutely false, in my opinion, for people to advertise it as... Um, the higher efficient equipment, because I, I don't believe that it is. Now, if they would advertise it as the most comfortable equipment, I could buy that. I could buy that in a heartbeat because they are a more even heat, more comfortable, that whole, you know, the whole nine yards as far as that goes. I believe that, but that's not how it's marketed. You know, it's marketed as being the most efficient. Now, if you are a homeowner out there watching this video or uh, somebody that's not real familiar with gas furnaces as far as multi-stages and things like that, you know, like a two-stage furnace, you know, um, let, let's say you have a furnace that's capable of burning this much gas. And, but in first stage, it only burns this much gas. And then when it goes to high fire, it kicks up and then you have full capacity. Now, I know there's better ways or there are, yeah, there, there's better ways to measure uh, how much gas you're using. You know, it's not really measured like this, but you get the idea. You know, you're only using a portion of your capacity whenever you're in first stage. Modulating furnaces uh, run a lot longer run cycles and they start out on low and then they eventually give it more gas, more gas, more gas, and then they taper back off. And then sometimes they taper back up and then back down and it, it modulates and, you know, you get the idea. I know a lot of you guys that watch these videos are heating air guys already. So you probably understand all this already. And there's probably way better ways to explain it than what I am, but I'm not really doing some kind of sales pitch at the moment. So, 
Um, but with those gas furnaces, especially modulating, that's the one that, that, that gets me the most. Modulating furnaces are not the more efficient piece of equipment. Now, I get the idea. People say, well, it runs at a, at, at a lower uh, you know, fire rate uh, for a lot longer, so you're not burning as much fuel. This is true, but it runs longer. Um, it's kind of like the, the video that I just did about thermostats as far as, you know, do you want it to have to run a really long cycle or do you want it to, uh, you know, just maintain kind of thing. So, you know, whenever that modulating furnace kicks in, it starts out and it runs and it runs and it runs and runs until, you know, eventually it runs up to high fire, heats the house up and then, you know, cycles down and cool and, you know, the house is up to temperature and it shuts off. So, you know, I, I get the idea, but... It, comfort is what it's given, not efficiency. And like I said, they're being sold as the more efficient piece of equipment, and they are not. Um, so, you know, I, I, I just like the idea of people being more careful how they word it, um, because, you know, that's not necessarily the more efficient piece of equipment. I talked to a business owner. He owned a heating and air company. This has been several years ago. I talked to him for a while, um, and he had a uh, single stage gas furnace. It was like 10, 12 years old, something like that. Uh, he owned the business. He decided that the brand that he sold came out with a new furnace. It was a modulating furnace. And well, he was going to try it in his house and see how it did. Um, and so he put it in and the next year his gas bill doubled and not, not just like a couple dollars. It doubled. And then this is what he's telling me. And you know, which this guy is a fairly intelligent guy. He's a business owner. He does everything the right way. He said, you know, the ductwork size, right? Static pressure is good. Whole nine yards. But basically it was the same size furnace. It's just modulating. And it wasn't one of those where, well, it was one temperature one year and then it was, you know, 20 degrees colder every day the next year. It wasn't like that. Uh, he counted up his heat degree days, like which we all should be doing. Uh, hopefully all the heating air guys out there know how to uh, count up heat degree days. That way we can um, effectively tell our homeowners, you know, how much heat we should be uh, needing that kind of thing, whatever. But, um, you know, he had this all figured up and the two years were pretty comparable, but his gas bill doubled. He said, now the house is more comfortable. He said, you know, it is a very even heat. It is, um, you know, it, it just kind of maintains that temperature. And he liked that, but his gas bill went up. So after the first year, he pulled the furnace out and he put a single stage furnace back in it. Um, and I haven't, I, you know, I haven't talked to him again. I don't know if I'll ever see the guy again, but uh, I'm guessing his bills went back down to normal. So, you know, it's, there, there's proof out there that, you know, modulating is not a more efficient way to heat. Um, it is a more comfortable way. I will agree with you with that. And with zone systems, I think two-stage modulating, hey, I think that's great. Um, you know, so I, I'm not trying to, you know, knock any of you out there that use modulating furnaces. I'm not trying to knock anybody that uses two-stage furnaces. Uh, the company that I work for now, uh, we sell two-stage furnaces. Usually when you try to get up into that better tier of uh, warranty packages, uh, get the better blowers. Like I said, I like the variable speed blowers. Um, I'm not a big fan of the five-speed ECMs. I want a true variable speed motor, um, a true ECM. And, uh, you, you know, we do sell two-stage gas furnaces, but you know what we do? Normally, we lock the, the two-stage part of it out and run it as a single stage. You know, my idea behind it is if, if a furnace is capable of producing, let's say, 80,000 BTUs of heat, whatever, um, you, I want it to go ahead and kick on, heat the house up, get it warm, satisfy the thermostat and shut down and wait till the next cycle. I don't want one that kicks on, runs for 45 minutes, then kicks up into high and then comes back down and runs for another 15 minutes. You know, I'm not into that because I know there's proof out there that that uses more fuel. So, you know, if you're a homeowner out there and you're looking to buy a new furnace, uh, you're trying to find different, uh, options, things like that. Um, you know, two stage and modulating furnaces are not a bad option, but everyone has to know that they are built for comfort, not efficiency. Uh, so the marketing is wrong in my opinion on those, but you know, whatever. Um, if you are a contractor, a service tech and install, whatever you are, uh, watching these videos and you're out there talking to people, I hope that maybe you can, um, communicate it correctly to the homeowners as far as what these furnaces are capable of, what they're built to do and everything like that. Again, not trying to knock any of these other furnaces, not trying to knock any of these brands that really push them, but I just wish that they would be marketed correctly. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, put them in the comments below. Like I said, I know this is kind of a controversial conversation. 
Uh, so I would love to see your opinions, your views, all that kind of stuff on it. Uh, say what you like. I promise you're not going to offend me. Um, so just let me know what you're thinking out there. Uh, any questions, let me know. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like, sh like button, the, uh, share button, share it to some of your friends. Go ahead and hit the bell icon that we get notifications every time a new video comes out. Thank you and God bless.